Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. I share all my paintings with you on YouTube and on our website, dianeanton.com, you can find free downloadable sketches for all the videos to help you make the most of your painting journey. And if you'd like a little bit more, we also have channel memberships with loads of perks for you to enjoy. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. Hi everyone. So today we're going to be developing the uh, cat motif, if you like, the cat theme. And um, I just wanted to show you what I've been up to since the last time we did some cats. Some of these cats here I have been um, working on a little bit further because some of them I didn't like them. And then I read somewhere, I think it was on Happy Painting Club, that if you don't like your painting, it's not finished. So I've been going over these. You remember the last time we did this, I said some of these look like rats and some of them look like dogs and all the rest of it. So I've been trying to improve them a little bit. And uh, this one particularly influenced by the, um, uh, the neurographic art idea where you break up the um, shape with lines and then you fill with a pattern. Um, and it uh, seems like there's been an invasion of mice in here too. That's a bit of a worry. Um, I've swapped my, uh, there's some neurographic work there in the background. I've swapped my um, faithful old Stettler pens here. I've swapped them now for the Micron, the Pigma. Pigma, is it? Yes, Pigma Micron. Um, because they seem to be more waterproof. So I've uh, treated myself to a set of those. Um, I've also got these, these um, upside down pens, which are great, these white, uh, Signo uh, Uniball uh, white pens, and they are absolutely fantastic. They give a very opaque, as you can see, a very opaque line over watercolour, which is great. Um, so anyway, I carried on exploring a bit and um, messing around um, with these ones, for example, and that was what I was using the Gallo paints for. Um, and then I decided I was going to use some ink rather than just the pens. I thought, why not have a go with some um, Sennelier ink, some drawing ink. I used a drop, the drip, a drip, drip pen. Yes, they are. They usually are drip pens, but they are dip pens, supposedly. And I made these wild creatures here just by drawing in paint on some sketch paper. I did some circles of colour using the Gallo paints and then I uh, randomly dropped in quite large amounts and you can see it's all blotty and splotchy. Reminds me of, um, was it? Um, I can't remember the first name, but wasn't his name Sol? There was an artist who did a lot of very, um, pretty ugly really, lots of ink and stuff. But um, so anyway, so those are those. And then I kind of refined that down a little bit and we ended up with this. And so this is the cats that we're going to do today. You know how sometimes you're in a mood and you don't feel as if um, you can do anything? It happens a lot, doesn't it? Um, so if there's one thing I can do, it's paint a circle while an oval. And um, so I'm going to myself a break and meditate again upon the cat. Now I've got a set of A Gallo paints here which I'm very lucky to have and this is it swatched out and this is it in reality and I've just picked up some chromite brown for, I'm going to have to put that next to it so that I know what I'm painting with, some chromite brown and when this cat is going to have his tummy lifted out a little bit to make it a little bit lighter. And I'm just making this up as I go along. So then I'm going to get some more chromite brown mixed with some um, quinacridone gold, red gold. So that will be kind of darker. And then I'm going to give him some stripes and a tail. 
and some feet and some colour around his face. And then we're going to let him dry a little bit. We'll see how he turns out. And then um, the next one, what shall we do? Shall we do this one in Notturno, which is a lovely mauve colour. I'm not sure what colour you would call that. You can mix these colours yourself with your ordinary set of paints, but sometimes it's nice to have them on hand. And then I'm going to give him some more stripes, um, perhaps in the same colour, only more intense. So that's also Naturno full strength. And then so we'll give him the same kind of tail, but maybe we'll have it lying down. So dark at the end and then a little bit lighter and his feet this one's got a fluffy tail and he wants some ears if you don't want those to be stripes they could be paws Now these cats are being painted on Bockingford 100% cellulose paper from the Bockingford Mill. Uh, and now this one I want to do in a kind of beige colour and the one thing that the gallo doesn't have in this set is um, Naples yellow. So I've got some Naples yellow here from Schmincke, I think. And we will complement that with chromite brown. So there's three cats. Now, next thing, I'm going to take my dip pen with nothing on it, and we're just going to give them some character to their tails. There's no ink on this pen, it's just scratching into the paint. Where the paint has started to dry, you'll get lines showing up lighter or darker depending on how much the paint has dried. So we'll just then use some of the paint to just draw around his ears. Then I have a dip pen, so I'll use some ink. This is Sennelier Walnut Ink. And we'll start on this end, shall we? And these cats are going to be funky cats. Put a little bit more dark in his tail. And his eyes are going to go about here, I think. And then the nose. This 
So then we want to put some whiskers in. This paper is quite damp now that the paint has hit it, so the pen's not working terribly well, but that's fine. So now we do the ears on this one, and the eyes, and the nose, and the mouth. I didn't really finish this one, did I? With his outlines. The idea is the, the paint and the lines don't necessarily match up, so it gives it a bit more freedom. These are a little bit similar to the ones we did the other day. And then our little Siamese at the end here. Just draw some lines with the pen for them to sit on. A lot of texture here where those paints melded together. When the eyes are dry I can put a light into the eyes and um, I think this one might want a little bit more colour here. So there we are, three cats. We'll let that dry and uh, we'll come back and see what we need to do. Well, it's not quite dry yet, but I just suddenly thought I do need to do some flowers for them to be sitting amongst. No question about that. And then after 
these lines are dry, we will probably color those in, probably gold. So cats amongst the tulips, tiptoeing no doubt if they're anything like ours, our cats like to sneak up on people and each other. Got five of them, so there's always a cat somewhere. If you are a member of the channel, you'll see um, videos of the cats from time to time, which is quite entertaining sometimes if you're interested in cats. It's been one of those days today where we have been constantly interrupted by this and that. Okay. So now I'll let that dry. Okay, so these putty cats are dry now, and I'm just going to take a little bit of um, PH Martin's Bleed Proof White and uh, just put a little highlight on the nose. I've already done the highlights on the um, eyes, the whites of the eyes, which cats don't really have, but it looks better when you give them to them. And then um, we will switch to the gold, which I want to use to colour in the flowers and I'm just using a size 3 round brush. Um, this is a round synthetic, let's say nylon, draw well brush. I need a quite small one because um, I'm doing something fairly small. I'm trying to keep inside the lines. Not something I do much of, but for this sort of need to. You can always go over the outside lines again afterwards if you cover too much of them. This um, gold paint from Jean Haynes, Daniel Smith that is to say, um, is, is quite good. It's quite opaque and it um, dries quite shiny, quite nice. You could use the um, Kiritaki starry colours as well, if you have that. A lot of people have that. I've got that one too. Um, maybe I'll give the cats a few specks of gold on their tails, just to lighten them up a little bit. In the middle there, where it could be said to be catching the light. I think that one probably wants, she wants a kind of more of a light gold. This is Mau Mau, this one. Come on, let's have some opacity here, Jean. Yeah, this is Mau Mau, our Siamese. Okay. And um, I think that's probably about it. Got their whiskers, they've got their eyes, nose, mouth, tails, and got their flowers for companions. So I think we'll call that a day. <coughs> you could do more, you could make them a little bit more accurate, but I quite like the kind of funky, random, inky sort of effect. You could come back in with a bit more ink if you wanted to as well. So there we are. That's three more cats to join the menagerie. So there's the final painting and here's a quick look at some of the other cats which I painted while I was working on this video. We're a five cat household these days so I had plenty of willing models. I hope you found this video enjoyable. Please subscribe and turn on notifications if you did. 
and visit our website for free downloads of all our paintings. While you're there, a donation in our tip jar via PayPal would be greatly appreciated. So I'll say bye-bye for now, everybody, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.